Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with Trailer Mountain, and today I have some earbuds for uh, review. Doing a little something different today. Um, earbuds. Sometimes, you know, if I go on a hike or something like that, every now and then I'll bring earbuds, not to hike, um, but for at camp. Like if I'm in my tent and I want to listen to something, you know, before I go to sleep or anything like that, I'll usually bring a small pair of earbuds. Um, I do have a pair of AirPods, which I really like. Uh, but I just had a company called Naztec. Here's their website right here. Check these guys out. These guys, um, they were nice enough to send me out a couple of pair of their Xpods Pro. So we're going to test these today. So Xpods Pro. They're kind of like AirPods. I'm going to call them Xpods. So I got the black and the red. Uh, both of them about the same. 25 hours of playtime. Uh, wireless charging case. Touch controls. The whole thing. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the red ones out of the packaging. I'm going to flip my camera around just so you can see what I'm doing on the table in front of me. And I'll unbox these for you, go over the features and benefits. And I know you can't hear them because you're on the video and I can listen to them. So all I can give you is my honest review on how I think they sound compared to like the Apple AirPods. I have the AirPods Pro. So I'm going to listen to those and I'll compare them to the clarity of the Apple ones. And we'll just kind of compare apples to apples. So... Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Anyway, um, I'm gonna move the camera around, get these things unboxed, and we'll go over the features and benefits with you right now. Okay, NASDAQ nice Pure Sound, zero wires, 24 hour playtime, special edition, it's probably because they're red. Um, 25 hours of playtime, wireless charging case, touch controls. I'm gonna open them up right here. The packaging is really nice. There's your earbuds and charging case, branded. So. Case is wirelessly rechargeable too. Put on one of those wireless charging pads, obviously sold separately. Um, auto pairing, stereo sound, little uh, ear cups so you can fit different size ears. Limited two year warranty, which is really good. I was surprised at that. Um, it's an American brand too, which I really, really like. So, heck yeah, America. Keep it local. So, touch controls. Yeah. So let's get these things opened up. Let's see how these things, how they're sealed on the bottom. Okay, don't. okay let's see what we got. Okay. First things first, we got the owner's manual here. Register now, 25% off your next purchase, nasdaq.com. That's kind of cool. U.S. residents only. There's your products and support. You have a phone number in case you need help with anything. There's your troubleshooting guide and your owner's manual. So, there's your small bag full of ear cups so you can customize the fit. Yeah. All different sizes there. Okay, so here we go. Nasdaq buds. USB-C recharge, which is great. I like seeing that. Pretty small little USB cable. I like it. Doesn't need much. It's also USB or uh, wireless charging capable. So we'll set that off to the side. There's your Nasdaq case. It's really light. Plastic. And boom. And then you have your earbuds. Just pop right in here, just like that. And you can see that they're charging. So cool. I'm gonna let those bad boys charge up for a little bit. And we'll finish this. Uh, finish this review. All right, so to pair them, basically you just open them up. 
take them out of the case and they'll power on themselves. I don't know if you heard it, but it said power on. That's them. I have my Bluetooth thing right here. Mouse tech. Connected. Cool. All right, so we're going to play some music. So these are the other... You have small, medium, and large, different ear cups for different ear sizes. So without further ado... I'm going to get these in my ears, I'm going to flip the camera back around, and I'm going to tell you how they sound. Okay. So they're in. I don't think they have noise cancelling, but I'm going to sync up some Pandora or some uh, Spotify right now. All right, so these are on full volume, high as they go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, put these back in the case for now, I'm gonna get my AirPods. So I want to hear how they much different they sound in real time. Not bad. Not bad, actually. They I think they would kind of hold their own against the AirPods, except for the noise canceling sound clarity wise and how good they sound and 
some quality. So far, so good. I'll try it again. And then just, when you have them in there and you put them in, um, so once you put them in, they say connected. You're supposed to tap three times and you could fast forward the song. There it goes. I think if you go too fast, it doesn't register it. Because twice we'll pause it, play and pause. Yeah. Yeah, if you go three times slowly, it works. You can't go too fast. See that paused it? There it goes again, okay. And then, good. On the left earbud, if you do the same thing, tap twice, we'll play pause. Three times we'll go back a track, but obviously not on Spotify, but if you have music saved on your phone, it'll do that. So, kind of noise canceling, but not like the AirPods. The AirPods will get like pretty much quiet. But these are not bad. And when, I'll turn my light off. When you put them back in the case, you can see that. There you go. Now they're still on. You're supposed to hold each one down for like five seconds, I believe. Now when you take them out, they automatically turn on and connect, but you have to... Um, so you have to hold them in the same spot for five seconds. Power off, cool, so that worked. And then you turn them off, put them back in the case to charge. Now on the bottom here, on the little charging port, there is a little LED. You could probably see it right there. So that means it's powered on and it's charging. So comfort wise, I feel just like AirPods to me. Sound quality, pretty close to Apple AirPods for a lot less. Size wise, they're just a little smaller. Now, granted, I have a case on this, so, but. They sound pretty good, I'll give them that. For the price point, I don't, you know, I think it's a pretty good deal. NASDAQ. And then obviously with the different ear cups and stuff like that, you can mix and match and because everybody's ears are different. So it's cool that they give you options. Um, I like that it has a USB-C recharging cable that comes with it. That's great. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty impressed. Not bad. So if you guys have any questions or comments now, granted, you guys can't tell how they sound. So these opinions are my own. Do I think they sound great? Yeah, I'd say they sound great. Do they sound better than AirPods? No, um, in my opinion. Are they close? Absolutely. Um, AirPods are probably just a little step up in quality. The, um, the fit, about the same. Noise canceling, mm-mm. Uh, AirPods definitely excel in that, in that regard, but for what you get, I think, is... Uh, it's pretty substantial for the price point. So once again, these opinions are my own. You can't tell the, the audio quality. I'm just giving you my opinion on how I think they sound. All right, so I have the black pair in now and I'm gonna play some music. It's probably the same. So they sound good. Um, I'm going to make a quick phone call and I just want to see how they sound on my end and how they can hear me on their end. So, hey, how you doing? Good. Hey, I'm calling you from the uh, Air, uh, the X-Pods. I'm calling you from the X-Pods Pro. Seeing how do, how do I sound? Okay.
Same quality. Okay, yeah, you're crystal clear on my end, too. Okay, cool. I appreciate it. I did, yeah. Thank you. Alright. Love you, too. Bye. Alright, so all the little uh, audio cues that you get when you're using something like this, um, like when I was using them, I got a text, it dinged, told me I have a text. The phone call went through easily. I'm pretty sure they work with Siri, so... Um, let me just see something real quick. Hey Siri, call home. Cool. So they work with here. They work with Siri too. So that's great. Yeah, the fit's great. I like them. They're comfortable. And uh, yeah. So good job, Nesta. So designed in California and made in China. China. So yeah. Pretty cool. I'm gonna leave them on the charger and really give them a full charge. The only thing I wish they did was, like when I open my AirPods, it tells me on my phone, like, you know, the little thing, like how they're charged, are they fully charged, is the case charged, is the AirPods charged? I wish it did that with these, but I mean, come on, splitting hairs. Not bad. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave those down in my comments section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, please share, and please subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So thanks again for tuning in to my latest video for the NASDAQ X-Pods Pro. Here's their website one more time right here. Check these guys out. These guys are making some pretty cool stuff. Um, also too, what I'll do is I'll leave a link if you like the review and maybe you want to buy some of these for yourself or as a gift. I'll leave a link down in my description box down below where you can make your purchase. So when you use my link, it helps support my YouTube channel, and I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the last 11 years. Do I make a ton of money off my affiliate links? No, but it allows me to produce higher quality content to give back to you, so I really appreciate all the help, love, and support. So thanks again for tuning in and spending your valuable time with me. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.